Yo guys, what's up? I hope you're having a great day. So today I'm going to be going and running a few errands, but on the way I'm going to stop by the post office and see if we got anything in the mail. And later on tonight I'm going to do a little informational video about hobo nickels. I'll explain those later, um, so I'll catch you guys at the post office. Hey, third piece of mail! I'm excited for this guys. Alright, so this is going to be in today's video for sure. I'll open this. So it's from Frankie. Tortonesi, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your last name wrong, um, and I see, you see these little imprints of coins on the letter? I don't know if you guys can see that. Little circles and stuff, so I'm guessing there's coins in here. Thank you, Frankie, I'll open that later on today, right before I start talking about hobo nickels. And again, if you guys do want to send me something to my P.O. Box, I recently got it. The address is P.O. Box 741, Gig Harbor, Washington. 98335 and my name David Jensen so if you want to send me something it's also in the description if I'm gonna head home now and I'll tell you guys more about hobo nickels when I get there all right so what we have here is some carved hobo nickels these ones are actually done more recently so buffalo nickels are made out of like really so like soft material compared to most coins and so hobo nickel hobo nickels are basically just nickels and just coins in general that are modified like this, like people draw pictures on them and stuff. Um, and the ones that were done in the earlier years, like the 30s and before, those are the ones that are worth the most money because like those are the first ones that were made. Also, there's some artists in the 40s and 50s that made fairly popular and expensive ones, but mainly the ones that sell for a lot are from the 30s. So you can see right here some of the designs and then in the next page, all right, so here's another one you can see right here, and one of the reasons why they chose the buffalo nickel is because the Indian, like the head, the face on the coin is so much bigger than any other coin, like a small denomination coin. So like it was the easiest choice, also is a softer coin. So that's why they chose this one, and they didn't use like half dollars. You can probably see the, like the face is fairly big, but no one wants like 50 cents was a lot back then so like people would rather do it to a smaller coin than do it to a 50 cent coin and i have a few more examples of buffalo nickels so there's this one oh <laughs> um i might get age restricted now <laughs> uh we got this one and then this one actually shows the transformation that is done so you can see the original like the indian head behind the face and then they turned it in like they change it into a new painting or not a painting they sculpt out different details on it so a lot of a lot of the older ones had grew popular in like the 30s so it was during the Great Depression so people would actually carve nickels and try to resell them to people just to like make a little bit of a living and this is probably the question that all you guys want to know like you're like okay David stop telling us the information you just want to know the money so what I have here is eBay and these are not what they're asking not like oh I want a hundred bucks for my hobo nickel this is what they've actually sold for so these are all sold listings you can see like a couple here this one sold for 35 right there um, and then some like some of them are selling for a lot of money but it's just depending on there are certain artists that their, their work fetches more just still go get a buffalo nickel and carve it and resell it on eBay it definitely does take a lot of work maybe part two will be me trying to make a hobo nickel or something but saying that these things are still made today so if you get an original one you're definitely going to want to get that authenticated because the earlier the earlier the hobo nickel is made generally the more it is worth so that's definitely a thing to look out for these are really rare to find but I saw a couple videos on YouTube where people have found them like metal detecting I don't know if I've seen one found coin or hunting yet so if you have any further questions on this or you want to know more information about a different coin leave it in the comments below and I'll research that coin and give you guys information about it so make sure to comment down below it's time to open the letter so today's shout out for sure goes to Frankie thank you for sending me a letter I think this is the third letter I've gotten so it's really exciting like it's so much the comments like I get I get positive comments and like thanking me for like having a channel and stuff but like actually getting like something in your something in your hands you know it's like a di it's a different feeling you know all right Ooh, it's heavy okay I see two coins right away talking about hobo nickels he sent me a buffalo nickel 
I'm not gonna carve it though. <laughs> Frankie! Frankie sent me $10. Thank you so much, Frankie. Alright, let me read everything he says on this. Alright, I'm gonna read his letter. Thank you, Frankie. Alright, I'll sh Okay, I'll show you what he sent me. So he's a, a penny card, so he got a steel uh, war nickel, a 1973 pre proof coin, a 1907 Indian head, and then a 2017 D. And then he wrote 100 year difference. That's crazy. 100 years apart. These. Then also two nickels, a 37 uh, buffalo head, and then a 1942 silver war nickel. That's awesome. These. This, I'm definitely gonna add these to my collection. Thank you for that, and I'm gonna read your letter. This is on the letter, you can read online. If you guys do send me something in the mail, make sure you put on the letter if you want me to read it on YouTube, or if you don't, like, because that, that's up to you, I don't want. Dear David, I wanted to send you a little something. I hope you like them. I went through my half dollars, I only have a couple, and I found a 1969. Oh nice, 40%er. I didn't even think I had any silver. Thank you for the information. From your videos be safe on your road trip your yours truly frankie tortonesi from michigan thank you so much frankie this was an awesome letter to get and i'll definitely be adding these to my collection it will be used towards the road trip and my p.o box address is in the description below and if you do want to send me something i'm going to be giving shout outs like i did to frankie if you guys have a youtube channel or something i'll give that a shout out unless you guys have any more questions for this video i hope i cleared up like hobo nickels let you guys know some general information and sorry i missed and sorry i missed a video if i do miss a day i do i do videos every day or i try to so if i miss a day make sure you call me out on that because I'm trying to get to the point where I can make a video every single day for you guys. If you want to check out more of my content, I'm going to put a video up there, playlist of all my videos up in that corner. You can subscribe up there, and then the Patreon, if you want to donate to this summer's road trip, is right in this corner. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.